look at how cool this bike is guys i mean you don't even have to be a serious bike enthusiast to appreciate how cool this thing is how's it going everyone gc performance here back with another video and i just want to say first and foremost thank you so much to mr steve for letting me go ahead and do a review on his bike um we've been trying to do this for a while now but his bike like when he first met me he said that it was kind of like an ode to the channel he has the cycler wheels on there he has a nova to ride ospw he has the ospw uh the the absolute black oval chainring on there um but the, the bike is phenomenal and it wasn't always like this with the flat handlebars we'll get into that in a second but again thank you to mr steve for letting me go ahead and uh do the review on his bike i will be linking his instagram down below so if you guys want to check out more pictures on this cool bike um for sure go ahead but we were pretty much talking me and him back and forth and it's pretty much just like try to find a bolt on this bike that is not gold because he went to the nine to go ahead and change out everything on here and everything he did as well he changed out himself so um yeah so so basically this is a tarmac sl7 snake eyes frame set he had on there before the standard road bike handlebar and everything like that before uh but what happened was i guess he was in a crash during a ride or a race or whatever would happen and his shifters got damaged cosmetically and also when he went to go shift them sometimes they would kind of uh, malfunction or wouldn't wouldn't shift properly they might like spaz out a bit so it kind of just threw him for a whatever he kind of got pissed at the situation and he went out and he bought the um, the axis uh, shifter for a mountain bike right here with a rocker paddle he had the brakes as well and just a flat handlebar and he said whatever screw it, I'm gonna do this he still does group rides on here he said he still hit speeds like 35 38 miles an hour he said he got up to a sprint I believe the other day like at 36 miles an hour so he still competes with this thing. He still does all his crazy group rides, but it, it looks insane. Um, and the reason for the 140 stem on there is he said to compensate for the the, the hoods or the drops. You got to think on a normal road bike bar, it comes out, goes out like that, and also the hoods as well. So he wouldn't normally be riding 140. I think his normal stem was like 120 or 110, but the bike looks sick. It's really cool. He has on here, I'll go over the whole bike. I'm gonna go over the whole thing real quick. So starting off with the handlebar, this is an S-Works carbon fiber mountain bike handlebar. Um, he just basically added like the little gold vinyl wrap right there, the sticker wrap there, but a normal length bar in there that he just feels comfortable for him. And he's a mountain biker as well, so it's something similar uh, that he's familiar with. He has ESI grips on here with the little gold bar plugs. The brakes are going to be the SRAM level ultimate brakes. These were actually done previously in the past with the level uh, in gold and the SRAM carbon lever in gold as well. But the gold fittings on here, the fixtures here, the fixtures for the bleed port, those are all done secondary. He's trying to, he said, to find a gold bolt for this. But the carbon fiber lever and this on here was actually a manufactured thing. So very cool. On the rocker paddle itself, this shifts to 12 speed in the rear. It's paired with SRAM Force. This has the new rocker paddle. He has a gold bolt here, the gold bolt here. And also the little baby gold bolt right here. But this works. This is what shifts his bike. Down, up down up or reverse up down whatever it is but see and that's what he uses it for um you have on here the tarmac s-works sl7 stem 140 millimeter length which is the longest they make as well with a negative 12 degree drop the gold bolts here 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 the garmin mount in front and then also the uh lights in front as well we have a super Caz top cap with a gold bolt just for the added extra flare but i think it looks really really clean for what it is um this the, the cables on here yes it's still exposed but it's very minimal it looks really badass going to the uh the wheels we have on here the cycla build wheels which they got over at uh boca bike uh, um bike science on a1a which i've done a plenty of videos over there great people over there they actually sell these wheels these are their own wheels they hand built them up in their shop and they're actually really affordable as well for what they are these are uh, laced up with bladed spokes gold nipples and then he has on here DT240 hubs. It is usually red, but he got a, another sticker on there. So it says right here, DT Swiss 240 hubs with the gold sticker on there as well. And they are tubeless ready with the gold valves as well. Uh, PC, P0 race Pirelli tires, 700 by 26. They are tubeless ready, like I said. And then for the other side here, I think these are Ashima rotors. Yes, they are with an adapter on here but they have the kind of like this bronze or gold on here. Yeah, they're Shima rotated uh, rotors. We have the SRAM Force front brake caliper with the gold pin, the gold bolts, and the yellow brake pads as well for some flare. Very cool though. I mean, super badass. Moving to the water bottle on here, we have the 
Water bottle cages, Tac X, with obviously the gold fixtures for the bolts, gold fixtures for the bolts. And then for the crank, we have a SRAM Force crank set, carbon fiber arms. We have a quart power meter with the, with the gold cap on here, so you're getting your power meter readings here. Absolute black chain ring. It is an oval as well. And it's a one by. So this is, he said, this is a gravel chain ring on here to make this work. So it had a, a good enough offset to work with a one by for the road bike. And he's running a Eagle chain on here, an XX1 Eagle chain that worked on here. So it, there's no issues with that. You can run a one by with a different chain. It doesn't need to be a flat top chain ring to work with this. He said minimal noise as well. He actually said less noise than the stock force or red flat top chain because this, there is there, this chain is a little bit heavier, a little bit more dense. It doesn't radiate as much noise. Um, but it looks badass. You got the gold fixtures for the bolts still. The chainring looks pretty popping. Actually matches really well with the Nova to Ride OSPW. Um, but very, very cool stuff there. Uh, pedals he has, look keel carbon blades. And then of course, of course, of course, of course, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be his bike if he didn't have a Kogel BB on here. Kogel bottom bracket, ceramic bottom bracket with the gold <clears throat> uh, compression cap right here. This is made by Kane Creek. I thought it was Kogel, but it's made by Kane Creek. And that hub sounds beastly loud. Same thing here, SRAM Force flat mount disc brake caliper. We have the gold pins, gold pins. I'm sure there's gold down here, gold, gold. Yep, gold, gold. Gold rotor, Ashima rotors. Damn, 64 grams for those rotors. Ashima, if you don't know these, these company, they're more of a mountain bike rotor. They only come in really six bolt, I, I believe. Um, but they're the stupid light rotors. Only bad thing to them is I have known that they warp a little bit easier for mountain bikes because when you go into corners faster and you have the torque and you're hitting the brakes, they warp. But for road bikes, they look really good. But 64 grams, yes, you have to run adapters, but those are stupid light um, rotors that are on there. Again, they're called Ashima. Ashima, Ashima. A-S Shima. <laughs> um, and then for the back, the, the, the beauty of the beast, the SRAM Force 12 speed axis rear derailleur. We have the Nova to ride OSPW with a black on there. Um, again, I, I get a discount code. If you guys are looking to purchase one of these OSPWs, I believe they're only 220, 220 euros for the full thing. And I give a discount there for 10%, which is GC Perf Nova 10. It'll be down in the link to, below. But if you're looking for an OSPW, you don't want to spend the $500 on an OSPW. Like, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's gimmicky, but you like the look of it or you just want to try it. This is a good alternative. It's 250 bucks is nearly half the cost of regular OSPWs. Um, they make them for SRAM Force, SRAM Rival, SRAM Red, all access. They make a 105, an Altegra, a Durace. They make a bunch of different options or GRX as well. But they have great OSPWs and they spin for a really long time. So check it out in the description. But that cage matches that CX chainring really, really well. And then again, for the wheels, they are the Cicla wheels. I believe it's 50 millimeter depth, bladed spokes, gold spoke nipples, which are very hard to find right now. And they're actually brass nipples as well, so they can be reused for it. And then the beautiful, I don't even know how he got these in here. My hands would have to like be shredded by these spokes to wrap that th so cleanly. But the wrap on that looks beautiful. But you have the DT240 and the 54 tooth hub, which I'll give you guys a little free of buy sound test right now. Just a little, it sounds mean, man. And the, and the bike, this thing spins so freely. It sounds very mean. Well, yeah. So uh, seat post on here, normal Tarmac SO7 seat post. And then we have the Physique saddle, short nose, wide support, wide cutout to allow blood flow and carbon fiber rails. But the bike, it's such, I rode this bike. The coolest thing about it is, you know, I rode it from my store, which is all the way over there. Um, and I just get to ride around and it just feels like you're riding like a little fixie commuter bike, trick bike, but you have the capabilities of going super fast speed. So, I mean, it's it's such a cool bike. It's a nice little showpiece for sure. I think I've seen the, I saw a Sagan edition of the new one with the blue handlebar or the blue bike. I saw this, but I haven't seen any more flat handlebar bikes like this. Again, you might hate it. You might be like, why would someone ruin the bike like that? It's so stupid. It's, it's just because he enjoys it, man. The bike looks badass. It is a cool, cool piece. If you got the money to do it and you don't care about the maximum efficiency of what you want for it, there's no need to it, man. But this is a show-stopping piece for sure, and this bike is gorgeous. So again, thank you to Steve. Uh, I appreciate you bringing the, the bike and let me do a video on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But the bike looks trick. Super trick. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Tarmac SL7. 
uh, and a custom flat bar size 52, uh, weighing at 15 pounds, 14 ounces, 7.19 kilos. All right, free body sound test on these Cyclo wheels, a DT Swiss 240 hub and a 54 tooth ratchet. There we go. Alright guys, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.